Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Albion Church family. I hope you're having a great day so far, uh, and you're enjoying uh, beautiful weather, hopefully. Uh, more than anything, I hope you're just uh, reveling in the season of Advent as we are you know, preparing for the arrival of the Christ child. And by us doing that, we are going through the book of Luke. Uh, we'll be going through uh, chapter 3 today of Luke's gospel. There are going to be some names in here that, man, you're going to need to bear with me, um, but also... Hey, grandparents or parents, if there are uh, children that you are expecting soon, you know, whether you are pregnant or you know someone's pregnant, there are some solid biblical names that you can pull from today's chapter. Uh, so uh, again, I hope you're having a great time uh, as we're going through Advent, as we're preparing our hearts, our minds, and our souls, really, uh, for the coming of Christ. And remembering that Advent is, yes, it's one time a year where we celebrate that, but really we should remember in Christ. All, all through the year, every day, remembering what Christ has done for us. So let's get into it. Chapter 3 today, uh, we'll hear a little bit more about John the Baptist, and then we'll hear about uh, Jesus and his genealogy and all the, the people that came before him. So let's get into it. Chapter 3, verse 1. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of Iteria and Trachonitis, and Licinius, tetrarch of Abilene, during the high, high priesthood of Ananias and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the, in the desert. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the desert. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all mankind will see God's salvation. Verse 7. John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Verse 10. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, The man with two tunics should share with him who has none, and the one who has food should do the same. Tax collectors also came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, do not extort money and do not accuse fa uh, people falsely. Be content with your pay. The people were waiting expectantly and were all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Christ. John answered them all, I baptize you with father uh, with water, pardon me, but one more powerful than I will come. The <coughs> pardon me, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat in, into his barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And with many other words, John extort, exhorted the people and preached the good news to them. Verse 19. But when John rebuked Herod, the Tetrarch, because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and all the other evil things he had done, Herod added this to them all. He locked John up in prison. Verse 21. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in the bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was the son of so it was thought of Joseph, the son of Helia, the son of Mattat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, 
the son of Janai, the son of Joseph, the son of Mattathias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Elsli, the son of Nagai, the son of Matha, the son of Mattanias, the son of Simeon, or I'm sorry, the son of uh, Saman, the son of Josek, the son of Joda, the son of Joan, of Joanan, the son of Resha, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shatiel, the son of Nerai, the son of Melke, the son of Adonai, the son of Kosam, the son of Elmadan, the son of Er, the son of Joshua, the son of Eleazar, the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Elkem, the son of Mele, the son of Mena, the son of Mathatha, Mathatha, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salmon, the son of Nashon, the son of Aminadab, the son of Ram, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Zirug, the son of Ru, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shel Shelia, the son of Cana, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahaliah, the son of Kenan, the son of Enosh, the son of Zeth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Hey, thanks for bearing with me. Those were a lot of difficult names. Hopefully I got them right. But more than anything, um, I hope that you realize through that list of names, it's connecting everything back that happened in the Old Testament. The stories of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. The stories of David and of other kings, of, pardon me, of Solomon and all these things. We hear the story of Boaz and we know from Ruth, uh, Ruth the, the book of Ruth and what Boaz does. He's the kingsman redeemer. He's the precursor to Jesus in that sense. And so I hope that you heard all those names and go, wow, that's a lot of names. I hope that's not what you heard. I hope what you heard is you're reminded of the stories that all point to the most important story that the Bible presents. Jesus and the salvation that he brings to all of us. Hey, again, I hope you're having a wonderful Advent season so far. Continue to join with us every day as we go through the book of Luke. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We're grateful that you have been with us and, and present in this time. Continue to bless us and keep us this Advent season, preparing our hearts, our minds, and our souls for what you're about to do in our lives as the coming of the Christ child comes. So, Lord, we, we are grateful for you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Hey, church family, hope you gather with me every day. I'm enjoying this as much as hopefully you are. Have a great day. Bye.